Are you running from God's call today? We're going to look at the story of Jonah, a man who turned away from God's command, but then ultimately surrendered to it. We're also going to learn how we can respond to God's unwavering call. God called Jonah for a very specific person, purpose. He called him to warn the people of Nineveh about impending judgment. Nineveh was the capital of Assyria, which was a significant threat to Jonah's homeland, Israel. Jonah, a prophet from Gehefer, close enough, was asked to deliver a message to a city full of enemies. Enemies who posed a constant danger to his very own people. But Jonah didn't share God's heart for Nineveh. He wanted to see Nineveh face judgment. He did not want to see them have mercy. His own anger and his own prejudice caused him to turn away from the call of God on his life. His solution he jumped on a ship bound for Tarsus, running away from the presence of God, running away from the call of God on his life. But we're going to see you cannot outrun God's call. A fierce storm arose, threatening to destroy the ship and everybody that was on it. Jonah realized the storm's because of me. God's come for me. He's pursuing me. So he went to the men and he told them, hey, throw me overboard. Your storm will go away. Everything will be fine. Reluctantly, they followed Jonah's advice, and immediately the storm ceased. It stopped. Jonah should have faced death, but God, in his mercy and his loving kindness, had another plan. He sent a giant fish to swallow Jonah up. And Jonah spent three days sitting inside of the, that fish reflecting on what God had done, what God had called him to do. You see, God gave Jonah mercy when Jonah deserved judgment. And that was the same message that he was sending to the Ninevites. Hey, I'm going to give you mercy. You deserve judgment. But I'm going to offer you mercy. You just need to repent. Jonah, sitting in that fish, decided to surrender to God's call. And the fish threw him up on land. And he went to Nineveh. He went into Nineveh to preach the message that God had told him to take over there. It was simple. He walked through the town. Repent or judgment's coming and you'll be destroyed. Repent or judgment's coming and you'll be destroyed. That's all he had to say. And the people of Nineveh began to repent. And as Jonah suspected, God spared the city. The story is not just about Jonah. It's about all of us and how we respond to God's call. Because like Jonah, many of us want to serve God, but often we're not prepared for the call when it comes. We may hesitate because we have our own pastor hurt, our own anger, our own issues that we need to deal with. We have to prepare by dealing with our own mess so when the call comes, we can stand up and answer that call. In order to be ready, we often have to face things we don't want to face. We may have to confess some sins and repent ourselves so we can receive God's mercy. We may have to forgive some people who have hurt us so we can move on and let those roots of bitterness and anger be removed and heal ourselves. So when God calls us, we're ready to answer that call and go and take a message to people. Often when God calls us, he's going to send us to the very people that have hurt us the most to show his loving kindness, to give them mercy and let them see God's love and God's mercy in action. So, are you ready to embrace God's call? Are you ready to go and take the message that he's given you to the people he's called you to go to? Let Jonah's story inspire you not to run. You cannot outrun the presence of God. David tells us no matter where we go, he is there. So he will find you if he's called you. Are you ready to go 